Oh, look at him. He's fucking Batman. Fucking Batman. Hey, hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Rainbow from the Rainbow Lemons here today, and we are playing Batman the Telltale series. Uh, I'm going to try out doing some longer episodes. If you guys don't like it, let me know in the comments. If you do like it, again, let me know in the comments. I want to see if I can continue doing this. Uh, I'm really pumped to play this. I know I'm a little late to jump on the bandwagon, and I know I'm talking really fast, but uh, that's because I'm excited. Ex excited. Excited! Let's get into this, man! That's dark as shit. Ooh, ooh. Okay, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Oh, I don't know, man. Um. Ah, uh, let's just, let's be basic. Let's just go with the blue and be basic. It's fucking awesome, man. I see enough red lights where I'm sitting. I see some some blues. Lots, oh, lots of blues. Some reds. Hmm. That's kind of that didn't that didn't prove anything, did it? I that's. Hmm. Oh, okay. The game series adapts the choices you make. The story is tailored to how you by how you play. That's that's pretty cool. That is, that is pretty sick, if I do say so myself. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna move my microphone up a little bit. Yeah, it's still not incredibly hard to see. That's good. Surprise! What are you called it? I feel sorry for him, man. Why is it always the desk clerks, man? They always get popped. Got asthma. Get it open. On it. Think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Oh, Christ. Move in. Uh oh, that looks like bomb. One of the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Okay, I gotta get used to doing this shit, man. Ooh. Huh? What's that? Why does he look at that and not at what's coming the other way? Huh? Yeah. Smart move, my dude. Smart move. Time to shoot yourself. Ooh. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. It's made you a target. I can't get someone else to voice Alfred. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. Criminals in this city. <laughs> they need something to fear. <gasps> Shit! 
the hell did you tell me they didn't hear him come through the window Whatever in the first place? In, don't let it get out. This is new to me. I've never played a Telltale, ga a Telltale game before. Oh, I need a car battery. Got it. Oh, like that doesn't hurt. You guys are fucked now. Wait for me to come down right in the middle of you guys. Ooh. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you Where'd need Alfred pull that out from? Come back! Come on! Come on! Ooh. He's dead. He's like 100% dead. confusing as this is my dude this is amazing I think I fucked that one up though hey good news got you through the door didn't your mother teach you to knock behind you big boy I don't think so. <laughs> Other than they look at him confused because you're intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. She's a master cat burglar who also happens to use a crowbar. Like, isn't she a little too? Um, Without a scratch. Yeah. Is she, Ooh. So far. Oh, shut up now. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. No one else will. 
I'm the only one who gets the job done. Sounds lonely. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Yeah, that's some kinky shit, eh? Bring it, Bat. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I almost fucked up the... See how the thing about cracking things around people's eyes. Man. Ooh, ow! That's not very nice. That's that's not very nice. Oh, that's a bit there. You get this? Move us in closer. fighting it's over I wouldn't be so sure Is my sound is meant to sound like this, or my sound is like fucked up? Uh... Oh, that's not good. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. Ooh! What kind of fucking God asshole cop did that? I said don't shoot. Supposedly I kill people and I can tell you no. right now that I am right. going to go back and I'm going to kill his whole fucking family. That may seem a bit rash, but he just fucking shot me. Wasn't that my plan to just kill her, just let her die? I mean, apparently, supposedly I already killed people. Just because she's hot, isn't it that? Um, I'll die. Oh. Damn, that mood changed from going to kill his family. Damn, look at her. I saved your life. Uh, guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Give up. There's no way out. <laughs> Give me some credit. Bye, Bat. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not even sure if I could have pulled off that move. Are you far oh, shit? Great. Now Batman's got to take the subway. Step out of the shadows. 
and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Why does Batman have to take the fucking subway, eh? It's unsanitary. Batman doesn't like the subway. Family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Also, let me know down in the comments, who was your favorite Batman actor? Was it George Clooney, Val Kilmer, um, Michael Keaton, Christian Bale, Ben Affleck? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Or whoever I'm plays Bruce Wayne on Gotham, like I can't remember his name right now. such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this okay. city has... I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this on for you guys' sakes. Because I'm gonna do a lot of talking and if I talk over the dialogue I don't want you guys to not hear it. Considering that's already happened how many times? Burned there corruption you go. and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. For some reason, I just don't believe you. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you, thank you again, everyone. Put my controller for your down, support. Let's get a drink. Yeah. Together, we will change Gotham. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. Sorry, I mate. you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. Some they want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with I mean, the mouth that's I saying... I did get shot. Harvey Dent. Where the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. I'm already a hero. Oh, no one knows my name, slogan. dude. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. All right, all right, all right. How about uh, a new face for Gotham? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm going to use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime. Where children can play in the streets again. That's what I we want play with lawn darts, which were born in 1988. We have to shake things up to make that. By our grandparents' cigarettes. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. I'm just going on about some stand up I saw the other day. Um, some 14 year old kid over in the States. Uh, I, I might leave a link to the video. It's, it's alright, it's not it's not for everyone, not everyone will laugh, but uh, I found it kind of funny. Oh, who's this cockhead, eh? Oh, wait. Ah, right. oh, fuck. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know this Zellerbach. Two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. Oh, hey. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. 
Hmm. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. And what are you then, mate? Because oh, you now, legit Bob. look like a Muppet. I'm not a politician. You look like one of those old those old geezers hmm? from the Muppets, the ones that no won't shut the fuck attached. up. You know them? Old families yeah, like ours yeah, should flock you. together. Look at you know, that comparison. Like birds. You're Jesus. preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat Freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Well, maybe oh, it Bobby. still is, Regarding mate. Golden Age? No, I'm Seems the fastest gun in the West. Yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. Oh, are you sure about that? It's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this Yeah, city. do you realize how much my gear as Batman costs? That shit is expensive. Now don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne. That's nice, but it's not going to work. Will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city. Oh, to be killed in a botched robbery. Is this, this is proper alley. house guest manners, too, right? You just bring up the murder of his tale. parents at some function tragedy, at his house. Like that, at such a young age. I don't like you two. I'm going to ask my private security to kick you off the fucking property. If only that You're never coming back. Deranged man had gotten the right treatment. Maybe uh, Well, I don't like to think about maybes. They shut the fuck up. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day 1. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. Thank you both. Oh my god. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. Oh it god, mate, I am like the smoothest distance. talker in this room. And this is a room full of thieves. Nah, mate. Oh, well, some hello. shots. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite Couple the social event, Couple shots and you can find oh, out. Now. So formal. <laughs> Call me Bruce. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. Oh, don't worry, you'll get yours. How are you doing? You should enjoy your own party. Before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... Is that blood? Cut myself shaving. Yeah. Oh, this? No, it's nothing. It just, uh... Cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh... Another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Don Falcone. Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham. For all of us. And you didn't think they'd run this by me first? At least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't like this, Harv. But I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. 
Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. This Word is... of warning, Bruce. Play nice. What could I possibly do to you know, piss I've this guy off? I'm very tempted to intentionally house. piss him off now. That'd Decent be... walk-up, sky-high yeah. ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, I don't think so, mate. We'll be more comfortable in the parlor. I've made a couple Follow of me. modifications to the original design, and I quite like them. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's private audience? Oh, come on, guys. Bruce, you'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll get a drink or something. So I get shot? Christ. Hey, mate, it's my house. I can do what I want. I'm yeah, not with the well, mobster in my like house. Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But, in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. Yeah, you understand? Do you, do you really believe what you're doing is and right? And I'd rather see Don't Harvey good. actually help this city instead of just say any will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. <sighs> Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. I'm doing this for Gotham and for Harvey, not him. Okay, imagine he's a cockhead. This I really want to kill him. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. Falcon, we'll remember that. Ooh. Listen to me, kid. <laughs> I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand the situation. Shit's getting money real. Gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't bring him into this. Between you and me. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. I didn't say no to you. Not for long. Master Ooh. Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. <laughs> I thought Alfred was about to pull out a gat. Heed your cat in that motherfucker's advice, ass. Kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. You know what I said about intentionally pissing him off? Do you think I succeeded? Because I think I did. Ooh. Ba, 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 ba. 
That's some good shit. That is good. Whoa. Okay, guys, I think that's all for the first episode of this. Uh, if you want me to continue to do long episodes like this, let me know down in the comments. Uh, if you don't, also let me know down in the comments. It'd be nice to know. If you guys just want me to continue doing funny moments, then I'm fine with that. But I really want to try and branch out and uh, do some longer videos for you guys because you know, that's something I've always wanted to do. And uh, I'm really enjoying the game so far, even though I've only played a little bit of it. I've only just touched the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more to come. So if you're enjoying it, let me know. Uh, leave a comment and like, remember to like. <laughs> Let me try that again. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, share the video with your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Mr. Rambo, signing out.